soft life, soft girl aesthetic is kind of getting delusional, you know? And again, we're doing delusional this year because I'm totally being delusional, but within reason. Hey y'all, it's Tia Cherie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back this week to check out another video. And this week we are gonna be talking all about the soft life. If you have been on any social media in these last few months, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, wherever, all of the girlies are living their best, soft, luxurious life. And I love it. I am here for it. But I wanted to do this video because I feel like there is a certain aesthetic that goes with the soft life, which I understand. But that is not everyone's aesthetic for the soft life that they want to live. So in this video, I'm going to basically be talking about some ways where you can kind of cultivate what your idea of a soft life is so that you can start to live your best life in 2023. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you guys keep watching and stay tuned. So as I mentioned, there has been a phenomenon of the soft life, soft girl aesthetic. And as I mentioned, I am here for it. I totally get it. Who does not want a life of leisure and luxury and pretty flowers and wine and gifts and presents and like relaxation and all of that? I damn sure want it and I know that you want it too but I do also feel like kind of how social media kind of takes an idea and like runs with it and kind of moves it to the extreme of things and then it kind of just gets all distorted and then who knows um so as I kind of look through the you know soft life soft girl aesthetic um, I was kind of just on Pinterest because I was doing like my vision board and stuff and I actually want to do a video about my vision board so if you guys are interested in that let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do that on an upcoming video um, but I was on Pinterest kind of just looking at you know certain things that I feel like um, is the soft life for me and in this video I kind of just wanted to chat about some of the uh, parts of the aesthetic that you can kind of incorporate for yourself but just also if it's not your vibe how you can make your vibe of what you feel like your ideal soft life would be so the first thing is what does a soft life look like for you so if you're not the type of girly who you know like spas and you know champagne and all of that stuff then what do you like are you the type of girl who maybe likes to work out maybe you you know you're very into other hobbies maybe you like painting or maybe you like hiking or you know whatever it is what is your ideal idea of a soft life and I think when we look at the way Instagram kind of portrays things they make it look very appealing yes but it's not going to be appealing for everyone and it's also not what everyone wants so when I think of soft life I want you to kind of think of what it is that makes you feel good um, so for me personally, I don't necessarily like massages, right? For instance, digging a hands into my skin. It's not my jam, never has been that. So for me, a soft life is not necessarily going to the spa and you know, things of that nature because that's not really my vibe. Um, but I like bubble baths for instance, right? So for me, you know, making my soft life can be just spending time taking a nice bubble bath, having a glass of wine, you know, maybe reading a book, you know, candlelight, things of that nature. To me, that's my idea of it, as opposed to some of the pictures that we may see on like Pinterest where all the girlies are kind of at the spa and, you know, having those vibes. Cool. If, it, if you like it, I love it. But everything is not for everyone. And I think when we think about soft life, we really need to just cultivate a soft life that works for us and not what society tells us we should want as a soft life. This year, what I would personally like to work on is kind of incorporating some of the things in regards to what the soft girl life aesthetic um, is for or tries to bring out of you, but modifying it to what you like personally and not necessarily what 
the not what society or instagram and stuff is telling you should like in regards to what makes a soft life for you we are all different you know for me a soft life is a life of ease right a life that i feel i'm not always rushing i kind of get to go with the flow of how i want my day to go i'm working in a job that i actually like um i feel like with the soft girl aesthetic there's this whole thing about life is just being leisure and there's no work involved i don't know about y'all but i gotta go to work so i don't really have the ability to not work i got bills to pay honey so for most people that aesthetic of just this life of leisure is not attainable so if that's what you are you know looking to or you know putting on your vision board there's work that comes behind that and even the girls that are posting it they're working whether they work in a regular corporate nine to five or they work in social media there has to be some type of work for the most part put behind it and i feel like the soft life soft girl aesthetic it's kind of getting delusional you know and again we're doing delusional this year because i'm totally being delusional but within reason right so i feel like in order for you to have a life that you feel good about without feeling all of those societal pressures of what it should look like, you should really just sit down and assess what makes you feel good. Like what puts you in your best place or best mental state where you can show up as your best self. To me, having a soft life means being able to just be myself unapologetically right so it just means being able to show up in a way that i want to um i get to for instance at work maybe making your schedule to where maybe you can start a little bit later and you get to have your morning to yourself to kind of get up go to the gym get your body feeling good you know do your morning routine just have time to yourself maybe you're the type of girl who likes bubble baths maybe that puts you in a good space so that's part of your soft girl aesthetic is running yourself a nice bath having a glass of wine watching a movie or you know reading a book or something of that nature that's what fits for you also i personally am my softest girl when i got some money in my pocket okay so for me my finances money all of that directly correlates to me feeling good and not stressed out to me having a soft life means a life of more ease than stress not to say that life doesn't get stressful but for me to be able to live the best life that i want and kind of put myself in the best position there's just certain things that i need to have together so that i can feel good so another thing that's not realistic is assuming or thinking that at certain stages in your life you should be doing or having certain things right so for instance if you are younger right like say for instance you know you're in college most college students are you know in school maybe you work you know also on the side but you know for the most part you're trying to get your life together get your career together you might not have like the best paying job you're kind of just trying to make ends meet and get through school right your soft life is going to definitely look a lot different than a woman who might be in her late 30s, early 40s, who's been in her career, who's established, who's making a lot of money and just has a different lifestyle because she has worked and done the steps to get to that lifestyle, if that makes sense. I feel like there's so much pressure on especially the younger generation to feel like they have to have the same things that older people have not knowing that at one point the older people were you and they had to work themselves up to that level to attain certain things i feel like when you think of where you are you can have that soft girl life for the time frame that you are in so for you if you are a broke college student who's just trying to you know figure how out how to make ends meet you probably shouldn't be going to buy a chanel bag because that's not going to help you get where you're trying to get you should be probably trying to focus on doing things that are more 
in the range of what it is you can afford to do and not overwhelming yourself with trying to live up to a standard that you cannot attain just yet. Now, I'm not, this is not to say just because you're young, you can't have nice things. Yes, there's different levels to nice things. There's beginner level nice things and starter things as, a, and then you can work your way up, right? There's different levels of luxury, right? So for some people, you know, a coach bag is one level of luxury, then a Chanel bag is another level of luxury. And depending on where you are in your journey, both are both luxury and both can be true. And it just depends on what makes sense for you. So yes, maybe one day you would love to get a Chanel bag and that's great. You can aspire to that. But if right now all you can afford is coach level luxury then take that and be happy with that because that's still something that even people who cannot attain that are looking to have so just kind of putting in perspective the fact that don't debt yourself into a soft life okay do not get yourself into debt trying to live up to this soft life um facade that isn't what you can keep up with. We can all have our own level of softness that does not have to look like somebody else's. So we are all entitled to a soft life. We are all entitled to a life of, you know, ease and, you know, pleasure and things that make us feel good and just feel our best. We are entitled to that. And I just kind of wanted to make this video to put you know into your awareness and into your perspective that what your idea of a soft life is may be different than that of a pinterest board about what a soft life should look like and in this year i really hope that you can cultivate um what it means to you so that you can attain it number one without overwhelming yourself and then be able to feel and reap the benefits of it so if you put this other aspect of soft life onto what you should be doing and you're not able to get there, you're gonna feel like you failed when you shouldn't have to feel that way. And in honesty, you don't have to feel that way because you can make what your idea of a soft life is. So within these next few months, because you know, and this year we're leveling up. That's what all of these videos are gonna be about, especially for the next couple of weeks. I, like I said, I wanna talk about self-development this year, just being our best selves and putting ourselves in the best situations. And that includes having leisure. That does include resting. That includes pouring into ourselves. We are not pouring from no empty cups this year. It's not happening. We're gonna fill ourselves and then we will have the overflow for everyone else. So if you are looking to cultivate an experience for yourself this year, make sure it's one that fits what you want it to be and not what society is telling you it has to be. I don't want anyone to put themselves in a situation where unfortunately social media is very influential right and it has a hold on us whether we're young or we're old. All of us are caught up in this social media trap. So. With that being said, learn how to kind of just have better discernment and take the good with the bad. This year, let's not um, overwhelm ourselves with uh, what we feel like we should be doing and just more so work on cultivating an experience that works for us. A soft life comes with work as well. It is not just something that happens unless by the grace of God, you just find somebody that wanna take care of you, honey more power to you I love that for you but if not we do have to do a little bit of work to get to that life of leisure and that is it for this week's video I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that kind of just put into perspective that you can make the life that it is that you want to live 
not the life that everybody else has. You are you and that is your magic. So make sure you're doing things for yourself that pour into yourself that make you feel your best. Even if nobody else is doing it, it does not matter. It's what's for you. And I hope this video was helpful. And if so, please feel free to leave some feedback for me below. Also, let me know in the comments what your idea of a soft life is. What do you plan on incorporating this year to make yourself feel the best that you can? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe. I have more videos coming for you. I'm trying to grow my channel this year so I greatly appreciate you guys support in advance and also let me not know down below some comments or some let me know some topics that you would like for me to cover in my next videos I would love to hear your feedback I would love to give you guys the content that you're looking for so I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you on the next one